Okay, here's uh, an example. I wanted to show you a couple examples of kind of the, the higher end stuff that we do and also what is really, I think, always been the point of Lightbox but is even more the point of Lightbox that, you know, we kind of have this Adobe level engine where we can, uh, where, where we put in a lot of things that you would want to do in a program like Adobe but is more automatic. And so the idea is, is to take a lot, just by my experience or whatever, just industry experience, these are the core things that people want to do. Uh, an example is, is that here you might want to put a gradient or a, a photo filter on here, or maybe even a gradient. And so the idea is, is that Adobe has a photo filter, we have a photo filter, um, right? And so the idea is that you can you can tint it to 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 something, to whatever, and then um, you can bring it way down. Now I don't know what it looks like on the video yet, but on you know my monitor what happens a lot is, is that you'll put a gradient in there and it'll start looking washed out. Um, and what, so what you can do, and this is something you'd want to do in Adobe, right? You'd want to add contrast to it. Now the idea is that you're only adding contrast to the layer, not to the picture. And so the idea is, is that this is basically a um, photo filter layer that you're playing with here and then you have these contrast controls. To do this in Adobe you'd have to uh, create a new layer and put color on it and you know and, and uh, do the curves to do, to do that and that sort of thing to do the uh, contrast and so here it's all automatic right and it's one of the core things that people people would want to do in a, in a program like uh, like Adobe or just a higher level program. So, for example, you know, if you the HSL mode, which I'll explain to by the time, you know, you can see uh, that it really starts to get washed out. But then, if I add just some contrast to it, you know, it starts to look more natural and blend uh, to the picture. Now, the idea is, is that you know, a lot of times you want to add a gradient to the picture. You know, I don't want to do the whole picture. I want to make it look more like a sunset, as opposed to uh, a, a pure filter. Now the idea is, is that Adobe has you know the filter numbers. We can put the filter numbers on here too. It's the same process that we're using here. Again, all on 48 bits. But then also what I have is a, you know you can get rid of these contrast controls. Uh, I have gradient controls where basically I can pull down the gradient like a shade. I can do it on the picture or this box, and then you can uh, rotate the gradient angle. And um, and then what you can do is is you can soften the gradient. Uh, to have kind of a, a soft edge or a, a dull edge, wh wh whatever you want to do. And so the idea is, is that, you know, if you have a, want to have a real, let's say you want to have a real strong gradient, you can see that it really starts to not blend with the picture very well uh, because it's it got two different contrast levels going on. So I can open the contrast controls and then uh, set the contrast and maybe put a little bit more of a, kind of a softening effect on the gradient. And then all of a sudden it starts to become a lot more natural to the picture. Um, probably want a big gradient on this one to kind of bring it down and into something that's more natural. And so the idea is, is that without the contrast, uh, you know, in, in, in something like Adobe, for example, you'd have to do uh, a layer, you'd have to do a gradient, and then you'd have to do curves on the layer, and that sort of thing. And right here, it's basically all, all here. Um, so I can so I can do that. And one thing I can do is I can uh, just playing with it here. I can uh, save this, and then I can come right back into it, open up the gradient window, rotate the gradient, and now I have uh, two different colors. Um, the gradient, rotate the gradient down, and now I have uh, slightly different colors. Uh, you know, just for whatever effect people people want to have. Um, You know, and, and this is something done pretty easily here. So, like, if I want more of a bluish bottom to it, I, I can I can do that. I can move the gradient up or down, and then I can do um, get some more highlight contrast in there, and basically just do whatever I want to do. I mean, that's probably an ugly picture, but the point is, is that you know you're able to do stuff like this very quickly, and it's something where in a, in a, in a program that that is uh, it has the breadth of Adobe but doesn't have a lot of these functions. It's, it's difficult to do. So that, that's one example there. And I'll get to another example. And the, uh, I want to show you the vignette.